Okay. Uh, good uh, good day everyone uh, for this review. Continuation lang natin doon sa ating illustrative problem or problem solving para sa ating fundamentals of, of fluid flow. Okay, so uh, again, we will proceed sa ating problem solving with the topic of fundamentals of fluid flow. So problem number one, water flows through a 75 mm diameter pipe at a velocity of three meters per second. So we will find the volume flow rate in meter cube per second and liters uh, per second. And we will also find the mass flow rate in kilograms per second and the weight flow rate in newtons per second. So before we start, ilagtag natin yung ating um, um, given. Yung mga given natin. So we have a um, 75 mm diameter. And then we have a velocity na 3 meters per second. So sa letter A natin, inahanap natin ang ating volume flow rate or yung ating discharge Q. So ano ang formula ng ating Q? Area times velocity. And for our area, since meron tayong diameter na given, ang ating formula for our area is uh, pi over 4 d squared. So ang ating diameter in terms of liter is magiging, magiging 0 0.075 squared. Okay? Then, itang po natin yung ating velocity, which is 3 meters per second. So, we have a value of our discharge na 0 0.03, 0 0.0131313. Meters per a meter cube per second. Okay, so we have the value of our discharge in terms of meter cube per second. So what will be our discharge in terms of liters per second? So balik tayo sa ating conversion. So yung ating meter cube, to convert it into liters, is it times na natin siya into 1,000. Or Ang ating conversion is uh, 1,000, yung one conversion factor. So, itams na natin itong ating 0 0.013 meter cube per second into 1,000 para makuha natin yung ating discharge in terms of liters per second. So, we, have, we will have a value of 13 liters per second. Okay. So next. So letter B. So para sa ating letter B. Ang uh, ating inaanap na volume flow. So ating formula na volume flow rate. Uh, M equals to LED times the entire discharge. So yung discharge natin is yung value na in terms of meter cube per second. So we have a value of 0 0.01 meter cube per second. And then the ating density of water is 1,000 kilogram per cubic meter. So itang alam na natin ito substitute. So makukuha natin ating mass flow rate uh, with the equation na times 0 0.013. So, meron tayong mass flow rate na 13 kilogram per second. Okay. So, let's proceed sa la ating last uh, last na hinahanap, letter C. So, for our letter C, ang ating hinahanap is uh, weight flow rate. So, ang formula is times ating discharge. So, ating discharge is in terms, again, sa meter cube per second. 0 0.013 meter cube per second. 
meter cube per second. So, ating unit weight, uh, since ang ating weight flow rate is in terms of newton per second, so yung ating 9.81 kilonewton is i-convert natin into newton. So, magiging 9,810 newton per cubic meter. So, again, ipang substitute natin. So, may value tayo para sa ating weight flow rate na or equation for, na, na 9,810 times 0 0.013. So, we have the value na 1,000, 1, 127 newton per second. So, ito na yung ating mga answers para sa ating problem number one. Okay, so uh, tapos na tayo sa ating problem number one. Let's proceed sa ating problem number two. For our problem number, number two, what is the rate of flow of water passing through a pipe with a diameter of 20 mm and a speed of 0 0.5 meter per second? So ating inaanap is the ating or rate of flow. Okay. So, ang rate of flow is sa ating discharge. So, ano ang ating forces sa discharge? is area times velocity. So, the same type of ating uh, previous uh, problem, number one. So, yung ating area is in terms of diameter. So, pi over 4 times ang ating diameter in centimeter. So, 0 0.02 squared times ating velocity na 0 0.5, so 0 0.5. So may value tayo sa ating discharge na 1.57 times 10 to the power of negative 4 meter cube per second. So that is our answer for the problem number two. So let's proceed to the next problem, number three. Air at 30 degrees Celsius and a 110 PPA at 20 newtons per second through a rectangular duct that measures 160 mm by 320 mm. We will compute for the average uh, to find the average velocity and the volume flux. And they will use the uh, gas, uh, gas constant or mass. 29.3 meter per uh, degree Kelvin. So, um, starting problem, the average flow rate, and then uh, passing pressure, and then temperature, and uh, given the gas constant. So, with the value of the weight flow rate, makukuha natin ang rate I unit weight times discharge. So, unit weight times area times velocity. So, kukunin natin ang ating unit weight. So, paano natin makuha ang unit weight? Ang formula natin dito is in terms of our uh, uh, gas pressure. So, pressure stand over RT, or yung gas constant times temperature. So, yung pressure natin dito, to consider is in terms of, in terms of uh, Pascal. So, nakawal ng kilopascal per second sa mga kita into 1,000. So, 110 times 1,000 over yung ating gas. 29.3 times temperature in terms of Kelvin. So, para makikita temperature in terms of Kelvin, is we add up na natin siya 73. So, 30 plus 273 will convert us into Kelvin. So, unit rate natin ang kanyang is 12.39 Newton per cubic meter. Okay? So, uh, now you're going to ask 
have any philosophy to that, so we just start. So Marina, can you just play it? Huh? Um, well, point 39 area from here, rectangular dot in terms of meters, 0 0.16 times 0 0.32. Tapos yung ating unknown variable yung density, which is ating average velocity. Again, yung average with flow rate is that newton per, uh, per second. So with this equation, uh, makukuha ay natin ating average velocity. Ang value is 31.53. Meters per second. So, meron na tayong average velocity. Next, kukunin natin na ating volume flux. Itong term na volume flux is another term ito na ating discharge. So, malalaman ninyo yung mga terms, uh, other terms na ating discharge pag mag-solve pa, mag pa kayo ng mga problems. So, kung hindi kayo nang uh, solve of problem, and then makabasa mo og another term ng uh, discharge, malilito talaga kayo kung ano ito siya. So, yung volume flux na pala is, is a discharge. So, ang ating discharge, ang ating formula is area times velocity. So, yung area natin again is 0 0.16 by 0 0.32 times yung sa ating nakuang velocity na 31.32. 53. So, yung value ng ating discharge or yung ating volume flux na ay 1.614 meter cube per second. So, ito na yung mga answers sa ating problem number 3. So, proceed tayo sa ating problem number 4. For our problem number four, if the velocity of a, of a flow in a sub of diameter fire hose is 0 0.5 meters per second, what is the velocity in a 25 mm diameter set issuing from a nozzle attached at the end of a pipe? Compute also the power available in the jet. So for this problem, uh, we will consider it by the concept to our continuity equation. So, the continuity equation to our discharge per hose is equal to the discharge pattern of the discharge. So, we find that the discharge per hose is area of the hose times velocity of the hose is equal to area sa ating jet times velocity natin sa jet. So, hinahalap natin is yung velocity doon sa jet, di ba? So, ito yung ating unknown. So, yung area ng ating hose is may meron siyang diameter na sa bagay ng mm. So, pi over 4 times 0 0.065 squared times sa velocity na 0 0.5 is equal to, meron tayong diameter ng jet sa tanong ng jet, so tayo ni, uh, 4 times 0 0.025 squared, and then yung ating unknown variable na velocity ng jet. So with this, ikukuha natin ang ating value sa jet, or yung velocity sa jet. So we have uh, uh, velocity na 4.5, meter per second. So next, kukunin natin yung power available sa jet. So yung ating uh, power is discharge times unit weight times and uh, total energy head. So wait lang. Okay, so um, ito yung ating formula para sa power. Discharge times unit weight times yung ating total energy head. So para sa discharge, ating uh, uh, value is 
from the equation of L over two over two. So, so L can happen is pi over four times zero point zero two five times two zero four and that will not be long to be four point five. So my value tag na ati discharge na uh, zero point zero zero two two zero nine meter cube per second. So, kunin natin kung paano na ating total energy tag. So, ang ating uh, consider the choice na ating kinatang energy na discharge over QG. So, meron tayong QG na 4.5 squared over 2 times 9.5. So, may value tayo na ating energy head na 1 Point zero uh, three two one meters. So, i pang ano na natin sa uh, uh, substitute natin sa dito. So, yung T, uh, may value tayo ng ating Q na 0 0.002209 times E na 1.0321 times sa ating unit rate na intense agitin. So, 9,810. Okay? So, meron tayong power na 22.37 watts. So, yun, ito yung mga uh, answers sa atin para sa ating problem number four. Okay, so problem number five. Last problem for this video. Uh, magpa part two tayo for problem six to ten. So for this uh, part one, hanggang problem number five tayo. So a turbine is treated at 600 HP when the flow of water through it is 0 0.61 meter cube per second. Assuming an efficiency of power na 87%, what is the head acting on the turbine? So, mag-given uh, natin. So, meron tayong power output. Okay. So, denoted natin sa SPO na 600 HP. And then, yung efficiency natin na new. Okay. Na? 87%. So, kukunin natin yung ating power input as represented na PI. So, ang ating uh, power input makukuha natin sa ating power output divide sa ating efficiency. So, 600 HP divide natin sa efficiency na 0 0.87. So, maran tayong value na ating power input na uh, 689.655 HP. Or in terms of watts, meron siyang value na 514,483 watts. Okay. So next, kukunin natin yung ating uh, 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 turbine head or ating energy head in, with the external uh, factor from the turbine. So yung power input, ang ating formula, other formula nga is uh, discharge, discharge times unit weight times yung sa ating head which is in this uh, problem, it's HE. Kasi dahil dito sa ating turbine. So, yung ating uh, Q is given na. So, yung ating 0 0.61 meter cube per second. So, yung power natin is ito siya. Ito yung ating gagamitin, 514,483 watts. Yung ating Unit weight is 9.81. So in terms of Newton, magiging 9,810. So ipang substitute natin. So 
So 514 or 4,483 is equals to 0 0.61 times 9,810 times the unknown variable, which is HE. So with this uh, equation, makukuha no, natin yung value na ating head sa uh, with the in terms of the turbine. So yung head natin for this is may value tayo na 87 85.97 meters. So ito yung ating answer for this uh, problem. So what is the head acting on the turbine. So we have 85.97 meters. So dito muna magtatapos sa ating uh, part 1 for this uh, problem solving. Uh, meron tayong part 2 para sa 6 to problem 10. Okay, so see you on the next video. Thank you.